I'll tell you the most impactful story uh, that I can think of that, that really keeps us going is we do a lot of work with children and teenagers. And uh, one day, very recently, uh, we went to work with a, a group of teenagers. We work one on one. And there was a young boy, probably 14 or 15, who came in the room and he didn't much want to be there. Because I, I try to start asking him questions about, you know, where do you go to school? What do you like to, you know, he didn't want to have any of it. So I suggested, you want to see Bree do her tricks? And all right, so we went through our battery of tricks. Would you like to try to do the tricks? And so gave him some of her treats and he went through a few tricks. He thought, well, this is pretty cool. And he was really getting into it. And he got on the floor with her and he was getting more into it. And she was so amenable as she always is. And then I said to him, you know, she'll give you a kiss on the nose if you ask her. And he didn't even have time to ask her. She just went over and gave him a kiss on the nose. Well, he was like putty in our hands. He started talking and about a dog he used to have and how it was taken away from him too soon and how much he missed the dog. Anyway, it was amazing, this experience, where this kid who wanted nothing to do with, with any of us in the beginning, suddenly he was letting it all hang out, so to speak. And this is, this is to me what this is about, is the power of the communication and the power of connection that is only available or this is one of the ways that it's available to those of us who are trying to reach kids in particular who are struggling.